Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to answer the question, why do we need a product manager? What's the importance of a product manager role? Why does a company hire a product manager? So have you ever wondered about the importance of this role? Let's get into the video. The first reason is product manager acts as a user advocate, right? So for example, if any company is building a product, developers code, designers design, marketers market, but who is there to focus on the user and their problem? So product manager focuses on the user and acts as a user advocate when taking any decisions in the product development process. Because your users or the customers cannot attend the meeting, right? So product manager understands everything end to end about the user. What are the pain points the user adds? What are the needs of the user with respect to your product? And where does your product fit in user's journey, right? When does the user uses your product? So product manager has complete insight about the user, the feedback that the user has given and make sure he uses it in taking every decision during, build, during the process of building a product or a feature. The second reason is uh, learning about market and competitor. So as a product manager, it's very important to provide the best solution and also provide a very good user experience to the user. So if your competitors are also solving the same problem, right? So the product manager makes sure that he analyzes the product or the solution that the competitor is providing and makes sure to deliver a better solution than them than the competitor to your users, right? In terms of price, time and also user experience. So you can capture more users or retain more users for your product. Learning about the market is also important, right? So product manager understands how big is the market, right? What are the new improvements that are coming in the market? What are the new regulatory uh, uh, laws or what are the new decisions taken by the government in that market or that particular industry and uses it to drive decisions in product development lifecycle, which can impact the business. And the next important part is prioritization. Why? Because in company, there are multiple problems to solve for at the same time. And customers also give multiple feedback, but we cannot solve all the problems or implement all the feedback in the product. That's why the product manager makes sure he prioritize the right problem. Why prioritization is needed? Because if there are 100 problems to solve for, all the 100 problems cannot be solved now because the team's bandwidth is limited. So product manager makes sure he validates all the problem and also uh, prioritizes based on the importance of the problem to the user as well as what impact the problem will have on the business. By solving this problem, what's the impact that it will deliver on the business, right? So prioritization is the most important thing why a company needs a product manager. And the next is, so now we have prioritized the problem. Next is solutioning and coordinating. So once a product manager has prioritized a problem, now we make sure he writes a detailed solution about the problem and communicates it across different teams like designers, developers, stakeholders, marketers and much more. So once a solution is ready, a product manager makes sure he communicates first to the stakeholder about the timeline of the solution. And also then he works with designers in getting the high fidelity wireframe out and then also make sure he answers all the doubts that the developer has and coordinates between different tech teams if multiple tech systems are involved. And when the product is in the development stage, informs the marketing team about the timeline when the product will be live and also plans the go to market strategy or the product launch plan for the for the product that is in development. The next important thing is problem solving and risk mitigation, right? So if a product has been uh, like launched 
and also if the product is in the development state there have been many scenarios where a product manager has to take a decision very quickly and problems are very ambiguous right you don't know they suddenly come and you have to take a quick decision just to give you an example right a product has been launched and suddenly there's a error that comes you have to fix it immediately or you need to have a let's say a plan b how you will mitigate the risk because of that issue and you also need to make trade off in many uh places right for example if if you are developing a feature and you know that it will take 2 months for launch and suddenly you got to know that you have to launch the feature within 1 month because let's say because of the competitor is also launching the same feature or there's a investor meeting in the coming month so as a product manager you make sure you prioritize the solution and also do some trade off so that you can launch the feature successfully within a month so just to summarize right So in today's world building technology product and launching it successfully in the market is very difficult building product that benefit both business and the user is also difficult right so these are the reasons why a product manager is needed and the most important thing is like making the team focusing on the same direction right so like making aligning everyone to focus on the same problem that you are solving So there can be many more reasons why a product manager is important in the organization. Feel free to comment them down if I have missed any important point. Do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day ahead.